solve 64 sine squared x equals 25 for which x lies in this range the first thing we need to do in this question is divide both sides by 64 so sine squared x equals 25 over 64 and then i'm going to take the square root of both sides in which case i'll have plus or minus 5 over 8 so in this case i have sine x equals 5 8 and sine x equals minus 5 8 to obtain the value of x i take the sine inverse of both sides so sine inverse of 5 over 8 when you put this into your calculator that gives you a value of 38.68 degrees to two decimal places and so to determine the other value of x i can simply use my sine graph so you would all be expected to know what this looks like the sine graph looks something like this in which case this is 118 and this is 360 so 38.68 is somewhere here if we extend this line that also meets the curve at this point here so this value is 38.68 which is that difference between zero and that point then we know that to obtain the second value i can just subtract that value from 180 degrees in which case i'll be left with 141.31 degrees and so that will be my two values and you can see that they both lie in this range so i'm happy with that and then to obtain the other values for x i'm going to take the sine inverse of negative 5 over 8 this will give you minus 38.68 degrees so what i'm going to do really quickly is i'm going to extend this graph so if i extend in this graph my curve will look something like this we can see that negative 38.68 will be somewhere here so that's minus 38.68 and if you extend this line you can see that your second value for x will be here so we can add that value onto 180 degrees if we extend it we can also see we get another value here but remember 270 degrees lies halfway between 180 and 360 so this value here unfortunately will be outside our range so we can add 38.68 degrees to 180 degrees and when you do that that gives you a value of 218.7 degrees so your final values for x will be 38.7 degrees i'm rounding these all to 1 dp now 141.3 degrees and 218.7 degrees